Then if we find out how cool the two trying to slap the corner on the face, if we die back the corner, you get what I'm saying? You uh -huh. trying to get all her friends, all her friends, she's trying to get two faces. You see, you want to reach for the two. Right. If she's trying to come for you first and be cool with you, the old day, old post, the other day, all of this night, all that shit was fake from the beginning. So she knew what was going on, the whole thing and all that. So she was trying to smack you away from her too, so that she never had no body. And I'm seeing this shit. I'm seeing it. Yeah. And then I'm seeing it. And 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 I had to kick all that motherfucker and I was like, oh, but you know, I went on that for my head for page because she got, she had got me blocked. She said, Erica blocked me on her page. But um, I went on that for my head for page and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I love you some more, you know, she said, that we all this. And then the music and everything. Yes. 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 Oh my God, that shit blew me. Dad, I knew you was on point. I knew I knew my nigga was going to be in it. I knew I said, it. I, at first, I thought she went live, but then he came to my phone and said, Major Girl is going live with MCCO Shamar. Yes. And I said, no. And I clicked on it and came like, no, 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 no. And I started watching it. I said, what is this? Yeah. But it's sad, though, like, that's a, oh. This shit is so fucked up, like, I just can't get paid in my brain. Oh, I wonder if people see that, though. The other thing, you know, I was all in them coming, it's on my Shamar Parker field. She come off. Okay, I've seen that. I was in the coming, I wasn't even talking. Oh, you got to be upset about it. She real said she, um. Uh, and she had the right uh, to be. Her. Listen, let me tell you something. She have all the right to be pissed the fuck off because that's wild. Shaquan ain't been bothering that girl. Shaquan ain't been standing her. You see what I'm saying? Shaquan ain't going behind her back trying to talk to her motherfucking friends or ex-friends or whatever the fuck she got going on. She ain't trying to become, oh, let me get up on it now. But see, man, Shaquan ain't had no beef. We ain't had no problem. I ain't, we're, we're trying to be filled with Shaquan. I got nothing to do with me. If Tamika's keep it real, Tamika tell you I told Tamika that. I don't do that. It's not my beat. I don't do that. Whatever I got going on with, whoever I got going on with, guess what? That's between me and that person. I have nothing to do with nobody else. If I fall out with you, I fall out with you. 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 You get what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, it's like, why are you trying to? Oh, God, that shit's really. And then they got her live blocked now. She going live with people. Yeah, she got live with people. Yeah, she got live with uh, she caught a live block. Why she just don't get a, 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 a bag of pay? I think she got one. She just can't get a bag of pay. She didn't go live with me. I go live with her. <laughs> she don't make a bag. What? She just texted me the day through. I ain't even fucked that shit. Oh, dear. Tiny. What you saying? What's up, buddy? Uh-uh. Yeah. She bad now because she needs, she probably needs somebody to stay tired of each other, her air provider, and take a break from each other. She was still in LA. Right, you know what I'm saying? They're back from Costa Rica, though. Yeah, Costa Rica. Yeah, so Brenda yeah. went to Costa Rica today. You know, like his same little house and everything. Oh, my God. Uh huh. 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 I know that she's getting thrown out of the place and she's got to be found. But then the other girl, I forgot the other girl's name. But I'm sure they had some type of dinner with each other. But this girl had just had a baby, though. They're still doing threesome. Huh? They're still doing threesome. 
Of course, they ain't gonna never stop. Did you see? I don't know if you saw my post. Leaf on my page. Leaf the one with the blonde short hair. Uh huh. Okay, you know that's the one who turned up shoes and spending over a million dollars for her. For real? Girl, uh, yes, and she doing good. She got them all type of ministers with all these motherfucking rappers and shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That one used to be Tammy. She used to run the juice, but she used to do a lot of fishing work and stuff on country music. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, when you see what you got going on, Tammy, yeah. Yeah, I ain't had a whole, whole lot. Thank you, baby. We gonna say. But, um... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be bigger. But, um... Yeah. But, um... What else can I say? I'm gonna say the girl, um... Let's see what the hell we... Oh yeah, her name Lisa, and um, you know, she just, you know, like, um, she had an order some jewelry, from um, order some jewelry, had shipped down here somebody, and uh, you know, um, using a credit card, a lot of shit on credit cards, and all type of shit going on, and uh, tell me why, when I think Lisa is on, on, um, on the motherfucking red carpet, then I started the BET Awards shit last night. Man, I hit Lisa DM and I was like, you know what? I'm proud of you. She was like, kid, I'm proud of you too. She was like, baby, I feel sorry for you over there in that jungle. I just said, last my ass off. I ain't even feeling shit. For real? Oh, I said, last my ass off. Cause baby, Lisa told me though, she she used to see little shit though. He, she used to tell me, she was like, let me tell you something, kitty. Some of them still have some time. They still have some She wasn't one of the ones I needed to call out the family. But see, I wasn't around that long to know really what type of person these little guys call them. I know more than that, what I know. But just a little time that I work with her at the juice bar and when I first started cleaning the mansion and stuff, I always tell she was all pulling up at my house for tiny. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she had bought me some pills one day. And um, I was going up on a depression and shit. Well, she had bought me some pills. Tell me, I got some pills, girl, to help you out. I'm going to send them all that for you. They good for depression. Then when I Googled the pill, it was a bad pill that killed Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. It's the same pill I called her. She was like, girl, you got to take a lot of them to die. He took a lot of these pills. You can't take a lot of them. This is a piece of hell. No, I ain't take the motherfucker. I sold them with a pill, dog. I just don't think how it's right how she's doing with the color, especially with all this mess going on with the show and all that stuff. I don't like it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like it. Neither. Cuz don't deserve that for real life. You know, so everybody got ways about it, so we might tend to say things and, and, and regret it later. That's everybody, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, this ain't that good, that wrong about her. Huh? You know what I'm saying? She ain't did nothing wrong about her. She speaks how she feels, what hurts her, what how she could have been done, which is their problems. She speaks upon that, but she not telling or speaking down on her. You did what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And they let that did nothing wrong about you. You still up here got you still up here got um tip thinking that this girl stole your jewelry out your car, put your jewelry down here to your motherfucking mama house. So you two, you can't man up to your, to your husband to protect your friends. You can say, and it's not fair, you know. Like, and I'm just being honest with you. Like, this how I did this, what it is. Like, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, you want everybody to walk around on you, jump behind you like you high old mighty with a motherfucking coattail. And see, I used to listen to what Shikoni used to say. First of all, you got to watch your company that you keep around you. Because sometimes the energy can be wrong. And first of all, you being who you is, you don't even supposed to be hanging around, keeping the company around you that you fucking keep around you. You know, you got to think about that too. When I was just telling you about how I tip with say about Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? How they would go through shit. You'll never hear it on the press or none of that shit. They all in that fight. They let somebody got that purpose, but they don't put it out there like that. And, and, and they friends and they do that too many friends. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, she basically was making sense because you look at Tiny like 
Look at your friends and who they standards is. You know, even with me, I ain't got shit. I ain't no motherfucking body. You know what I'm saying? But I went in it trying to take nothing either. I ain't trying to come up off shit either. I just want to work. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got shit outside of nothing. Let me work and let me just do what I do. Let me show you what I can do. And then you let me know how fuck you want to do me. You see what I'm saying? But you got motherfuckers around you pulling your coattail, kissing your ass, so they can get a piece of your dime or a, a kiss of your ass so they can be in the fame or the light of you. He ain't gonna never prosper, baby. You almost 50, baby. Like Tasha told me the other day, kid, it's time for me to hang on coat. I'm gonna fucking cold up. You're a whole bum on You're gonna be 50. It's okay to keep a young life, but you gotta die down on some of it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta die down on some of it. You know, like, I don't say the death, but at the end of the day, like, stuff you're doing is not right. Because when I seen that shit, I swear to God, if I had to come down, she called me, but I don't know the name she called me. I, I didn't say, you know, and I ain't going to bring it to her attention because she already done been through too much hurt and too much pain dealing with this lady. Right. But I already know the world was going to get it back to her, but I just wanted to tell her to not feed into it. To not keep allowing her to upset her because he who upset you, he who controls you. You right. know what I'm saying? And this truth over matter now. See, I might sit back and let people talk and I sit back and I be quiet. But one thing about it, I don't been through a lot of trials and trips long, long baby. Can't nobody walk in my footsteps. Can't nobody see what I done seen. Can't nobody did what I done done. I could have been on lost my motherfucking mind, man. When I was 15, 16 years old, see my baby had a brain blowed out in front of my face. You see what I'm saying? I should have been there. Seeing my son die in front of my eyes, seeing my brother, I should have been there. You see what I'm saying? But I sit back and I still listen because it's never too late to learn. Listen, I'm going to be 39 years old in a couple of days. Listen, I'm going to be 39 years old in a couple of days. And the shit that I have learned is being around some of the motherfuckers that I've been around, I know what the fuck I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 39 years old in a couple of days. And the shit that I have learned is being around some of the motherfuckers that I've been around, I know what the fuck I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 39 years old in a couple of days. And the shit that I have learned is being around some of the motherfuckers that I've been around, I know what the fuck I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 39 years old in a couple of days. And the shit that I have learned is being around some of the motherfuckers that I've been around, I know what the fuck I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 39 years I never even told her. I ain't never told her I left that man. She just started seeing it on the ground and shit. But she didn't know I ain't just say what's coming. I left because what you said, no. I left because what you said, oh my eyes. Wow. And, I, and, I, and I left because I know who the fuck Kittabu is. See, I lowered my standards when I started fucking with him because I wanted something different. Because I always dealt with nigga with money who controlled me, who ran my life. So now let me fuck with somebody who ain't got shit and hope we can build together, but it didn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? So so when when I when I went that route, I knew then that's not the route I want to go. So like I just told that lady the other day, you keep fucking texting me, but the bullets is my got a fucking head out on me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. That's what I was trying to call coming for the other day. And I was ready to call you. I come out my motherfucking door. Guess who's sitting outside my door? Or your brother in the limousine, right? So I walked that guy like that. I'm like, or your truck. So I ain't, I'm like, nah. But I had been sitting on my bed watching it all morning. I didn't come out of the house about one o'clock. So then when I walked out the door, me that night, I keep my pistol in my hand when I walk out my door. So I walked up to the truck and I was like, what the hell are you doing out here? What's going on? He's like, what's up, kitty? So I was like, no, what the hell are you doing out here in my apartment? He's like, oh, I got a client out here. I said, damn, y'all just sit outside all that damn day, even if they ain't celebrity. It was like, ah, uh-huh. something like that. I'm like, oh, okay, so I break shot, get him a car. Like, oh, okay, so I break shot, get him a car. I pull off. When I pull off, he pulled off behind me. Like, I ain't even seen him get in the car. He pulled off behind me. Like, what the fuck? I said, what the fuck? He 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 said, what the fuck? I pushed back up on him. I said, what the hell you moving for? Well, I was getting out the sun. I just pulled to the shade. But there's so many trees right in front of my door. What the hell you go way right after the rent off for? So then when I was putting off, he pulled back in and came back right after the back. But he said, it settled well with me because the oil used to bring me home late at night for Tamika when we'd be out there working on that roof or something. And Terry Yonah would drive home because Tamika don't want me to leave. She's like, hey, this day, this day, because trip, 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 stay. So I stayed like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And so, and Oreo would bring me home. You see what I'm saying? So it didn't settle well with me. So guess what? Right now, I'm sitting up in my motherfucking bed with my woman, with my blind cut, and I keep my chop right here in my bed. I ain't going to finish frame. And I ain't going to tell you, like I told you, I die for what mine. 
And that's the underground truth. Like, I ain't finna stop and keep playing these games with y'all, with y'all talking about that to that to that to And I'm still motherfucking over my baby thing out of luck. I ain't got no, 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 didn't really floor, but it's looking at that money for that little bit of that contract that barely holds no, I just lost 30 some motherfucking thousand dollars, lost $20,000 before that, and she know all this. Uh huh. I lost my money before, I, I lost my money in Puerto Rico. Y'all shit, y'all shit got took while I was in Puerto Rico. What the fuck wrong with y'all? And I need to leave it. Or whenever, I don't tell the way if it was me. I don't even think they were missed to tell you the truth. Either somebody set somebody up, or it ain't been missed. But word to the grapevine is that they stand in LA because they fight something or whatever they get that out here. These cases shit over with, which I don't give a fuck. It's their personal business. And then. Oh. They got to sell that LA or something to somebody's case, somebody's case the phone. I don't know if we can bring away. They got to stay in LA? Yeah. How long? They said I ain't got no return flight. That's what I heard. I don't know. They've been up there going on three weeks now. She went to uh, Costa Rica and then came back to LA. Yeah, like, oh, can you They might have to do something. Mm -hmm. The, um, the police. Mike? Well, you know he got them feds working for him, man. Um, she is on the way on. Um, okay, we were talking to David, who I was talking to, who be up on them. She was just like, um, the whoever they said, nigga, they said, um, they can't, they can't do nothing. Ain't nothing they can do. They still gonna have to, you know, fight the lawsuit shit, but they still, but ain't no charge gonna be filed against them. Uh-huh. They got R. Kelly, they got Bill Card, man. They still went through it. They don't say they still went through it. Right. Oh. So they gotta be in LA until all is over with. I don't know until it's over with, I just know for now. Oh. And I don't know if it's gonna be this week, next week. I don't have I don't know if you know if that time frame. I just know she was like um kinda of told her that they gotta be up there and deal with this case shit and then when it's over with, she ready to run her ass back to Atlanta. But see I don't trust her. I feel like they had a little couple of trails on some shit. Why? Right, that don't, that's weird. Yeah, it don't make sense. It ain't making sense to me. They gonna plan, they gonna plan some shit over there at the house. But they know, they know what they're going through financially. So either gonna plan something over there at the house. You know, like, I don't know, maybe a burglary or robbery or something. I don't know. And then they gonna try to get there. Cause they in LA. You did what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like they do dirty shit like that. I just sit. I done been around and seen them like tip this fake ass driven nigga. You know I know your half your shit fake nigga. That should be turning your neck green. Stop playing with me, nigga. Y'all got them got the man to the ice about making a fake fucking receipt. You'll kick it like, oh your neck like stole that display, display, black receipt. You get time to do the police report and shit. Or whatever y'all have y'all do your insurance or all the insurance claim with and y'all roll like that. Get a man that I bought some money. Mm. But you know, there's this. Oh, I don't know. I talked to Tasha for like two hours the other day. Oh. Like two hours, and she was just like, kidding. She goes, baby. When I told you, you called me a long time ago when you was over that thing that I had that 4th of July over that Eagle Land. By your fucking self. She said you was over there at 3 o'clock in the morning, cleaning up motherfucking firework. You started at 8 that morning, which is true. She said, I told you that night, call me. Because I was going to tell you, put your motherfucking running shoes on and don't look back. Did you say they been messing with young girls? Who? Yeah, I was on. They do, but not on the 8th, but on the 18th, 21. I can't believe them girls let him do that. I don't know if some little girl came over there and flew down there from LA, some pretty little girl. But I know for a fat one, none of them little bitches over 25 years old. 
I can't believe them girls want to go for that. I mean, you know, hoes and hoes. Right. They see, they see fame, they see money. But they ain't giving them nothing. That, that, that girl that be, that girl Annie. Yeah. She is supposed to be our own singer. Yeah. You look like Taylor just using her to make ears a singer. She ain't even pushing that girl away. Think, oh, no, nah, she, um, it's Nick. Nick is the one. This is this my name here, Warren? Oh, no. I I give me one by the way. Okay, I'll tell you the call. I know you're right. So, um, this Nick the one that's pushing her, but let me tell you something. Nick ain't got so drunk at the Virgil, Virgil, whatever name that shit. This motherfucker was like kidding. I'm finna be rich. I'm finna be rich. So I'm like, what you talking about? Take my breath, cause you know you're throwing take my breath. Right. So he's like, oh, no, nah, that money coming. I'm not worried about that. He, I'm talking about Annie. He was like, yeah, time to keep playing. Act like she don't want to do what right and push this girl. I'm going to push because I'm her manager. I'm like, oh, you her manager? Damn. I don't know shit. I'm just like, oh, all right. right. I let it alone. But see, she don't see that. She don't see Nick. Nick, I know for a fact that Nick takes from her due to the simple fact Tony them is Nick's friend. Uh-huh. Okay? So he's going to get paid whether he's working or ain't working. What project have you completed since you've been fucking with Tony? What have you done? What have you put together for this lady to earn some money? No, but I don't even know. Everything you, everything you come up on, you tell it to, to the next motherfucker and tell them, well, man, fuck a flock of wife. And Tiny was telling me all this out of her own mouth. It's ain't nothing that I know because I don't know what's going on. I sit back and just observe. This was coming out of her mouth. She was like, oh. Girl, my, girl, my girl must don't see what Tiny be doing because all I see is what she posted, what she's saying to that girl. I'm going to air. That's all she going to post is what she posted air. And then she reposted me thanking her. But that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Saying, um, I think she took her own, but not really knowing it was going to go so far and so deep. And Nick, I believe Nick be, he fake, because I believe he be talking about Chicago. Oh, yeah, he can't stand Chicago. He, wow. he told Tamika at the virtual, but you know what? Tamika had put it like this. Nick and Chicago got their own little relationship. And... So what I heard was Nick and Shikona were cool, if I'm not mistaken, before her and t- him and Tiny. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember how the story went to me because told me because we was in Miami. When she get geeked up on the perks, she tell every story. Uh-huh. But I, if I'm not mistaken, she did tell me that Nick was Shikona people. I guess they introduced, I ain't sure, I can't remember. Not, you know, I, I don't know. And I do remember um, it was something that happened where Nick wasn't talking to Shikana. Shikana maybe went talking to Nick a while ago. And, you know, they was talking. It was during the townhouse days. And I remember Shikana was like, he you get rid of his ass or something like that right there? Like, you can't do it. I can't remember what it was about. I, I know Nick. I think Nick worked with Candy first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Maybe well, I know him and Candace said, like, Candace don't fuck with him. For real? Uh-huh. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what happened with them. Uh, how it all went down. I can't. I can't. Like I said, I can't remember. It's just too much to remember. Like, he's like, Candace his favorite, though. He's the one working all the time. Well, I don't know if he's the one who did it for. I don't know. I just know. She last I heard that, um... That shut up. Mm-hmm. That was like Warren Virtual. Oh. I don't know. Mm. I think Candace kind of moved her so still. Because, you know, even for the Virtual, Candace was the one that had to people. Let me tell you something. They were the Virtual. They were finna cancel. They was going to cancel the Virtual? Yeah, let me tell you what happened. They said they only can blame a certain amount of people. I want to say 10 people apiece. 
First it went from first it went from seventy five people on fifty people a piece to twenty five to ten to five. But it was never that this way Nick was telling everybody. So Nick say, get her on the phone because you know she's not gonna talk to me. So he got Candace on the phone, my day, everybody on speaker phone. So they talking, so he was Candace like she should have called him myself. So when the man was talking to Candace, he was lost to hell, not knowing what the hell Nick was talking about. He's like, um, who did you talk to? Because I own this place. Who told you that you could not bring XYZ amount of people? Blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't that. It was because Nick had invited so many fucking people on tiny time. You did what I'm saying? That uh, she couldn't even invite nobody for her because of him. All her people were showing up. They were trying to turn her people around because, God damn it, Nick and I sat right there and heard this, and I told her, she ain't listen to me, though. I said, time I just heard the man call, he called um, Caitlin, he called Michaela, he called all your children and told them that they couldn't come because it went, they only take the five people and kid one and the half five. So he done had everybody involved in this account, right? So then he turned around and started calling all his people. He's like, all right, you can come. All right, I'm going to tell him at the door. They're going to be waiting on you. But then when I told to me, because she was like, what? I said, man, listen, I just heard him tell all your people they couldn't call. Your mom and dad took about it. But then he turned around and called his people and tell them they can call. Him. While you was in there getting your makeup done, he was calling all his people. She said, Kitty, are you sure I have to call him in now? Call him in and I tell him in his face. She's like, no, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. But see, that's the type of person I am. Let oh. all of us sit at the dining room table and let's not yell. We're going to hear each other out. We're going to voice our opinion. We're going to say why we did it and what led us to doing it. I'm saying it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was going to let him know in his face, like, when you call me Diane and cancel me, it's still her mama. You know what I'm saying? Telling her she can't go. I felt some type of way. I'm like, damn, he just told her mama she can't go? Watch him not get her fucking makeup done. Tell me why he go ill. Okay, who, 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 who can uh, do my eye real quick? Put a little lash on that little makeup. Little, just a little bit right around. I'm like, damn, who is she finna go on stage? Okay. <laughs> that's, it blew me. Look, one thing I have to say, I haven't been around Tiny and Shikona together too much, but the few times we have been around, Shikona won't pay her own tail. And if you with her and you ain't got it, Shikona gonna pay for who came with her. Cause you know how they try to take over the tail. So she's gonna be like, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Cause with me, Snoop, and all of us, we had one out to eat when the met took them. And it's kind of like, kitty, y'all want something? But well, we was at our own the table, you know, close from there. But we all was together. And then she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. And, you know, it's a couple of more other times Well, you know, it don't matter what the situation is. Even when, you know, they feel that she wants something, she, she kind of try to pay her way because she don't want nobody saying, oh, what the fuck they did for her. And I've been peeped that long time ago with her. Right. I don't give a damn what it was. She paid, but well, she didn't pay. She said it was a gift. She told me, she said, Kyle, she come, tell she come to come up here. I called, she come. And she said, tell her to come up there. And I, she come like, kid, I'm not coming up there. Because I, I ain't trying to spend that type of money right now. That's what time told me from my child. She had promised you a long time ago, blah, blah, blah. And she told me to call you. And she was like, oh, shit, I'm not coming up there. But then she come and thought about it. One time I helped her. But she didn't pay for her or her ass. Once she helped her with the little money she helped her with or whatever, I don't know what the amount was. She kind of turned around, cashed that money, $5,000, and then turned around and gave her the rest of the money. Really? So, yeah, because we was at the townhouse that day, and she showed it to me. She was like, I can't get her. She ain't going to be going around telling people what the fuck she done did for me. And I just find that was so wrong, because I'm like, she doing it to her. Because when I was there for Natasha the other day, you know, I was just like, you know, everybody's business and everybody's business, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't go in a deep conversation with her how I'm doing you. You you ain't an enemy and you ain't a close friend, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's like, all right, 
first shit, you just don't say you say them first, that you don't say them. So when they close, you know they know you more than I do. You did what I'm saying? So I didn't really have to say much to her. She had all the talking to do. And then she was like, what I didn't like, Kitty, was on Easter when you was over there at the house. You came over there and she invited you over there for Easter, but then put you to work when you were there. She was like, I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. She said, you don't do that. You don't do that to somebody you say you love. You don't do that to somebody who you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, they do me like that. But we might be together. I had to check out. I'm like, ooh. She's like, Kitty, you gonna be sorry? Hell no. The fuck? And Erica tell you this how I talk. I'd be like, man, hell no. Hell I do. Walk right out the front door, get in my car and leave. Trying to call me two, three hours later. Kitty, where you at? Boy, I'm big on three hours ago. It's fuck on like Christmas. I made my business not to be there during the daytime and come to at night. I made it my business. Like, I just didn't want to be, really want to be a part of that. Like, she just kept texting me, is you coming? Is you coming? Is you coming? So I finally came. Shaquilla, what the You see when I post that video on my page, and you hear over in the background, man, she come. Man, let me tell you something about her. She, she, she pretends to be okay in front of people that on social media, but you, she know I know. Just like she kind of know. That shit eat her ass a lie to not be talking to that girl, and it's eat her ass a lie not to be talking to me. Because she made it clear when she was crying to me outside on the side of that motherfucker how her and took the fight. She said, kid, I'm going to tell you the truth. You and Shakana, she said, he ain't even been around long with Shakana. And you and Shakana, only two friends that are mo ever motivate me to tell me try to do something with myself or try to be there. She said, y'all the only two I ain't never used me and played me. That, that came out of her mouth when she was out there crying. Where are her old friends at? That's what I want to know. Shit, but um, she called she call all school friends, special ed and shit. But watch the see, she don't have the same special ed bus over there at her house. I said, see in there, gang night or something. I can see Shamar and everybody over there. Tip ain't gonna like it, but she she gonna sneak it in behind Tip back. Because they, they gonna, she, I'm telling you, if it's like, man, I ain't gonna even call no bitch, but she ain't white. I just wanna know what, because she's be cool with, like, Shama. You know, that's Beige and that mama from uh, OMG Girl. I miss her a I wonder why. Well, you know, they fell out because, um, the, they lost um, the name. Yeah, about the, um, the, um, OMG dog shit. But then what bothered me about that? I then told Tamika, I said, Tamika, these fucking LOL the way years ago, when them motherfuckers first came out, I told Tamika, I said, these motherfuckers, I took a picture and it's in my archives. I just looked at it. And I said, laughing my ass off, these dogs look like the OMG girls, right? I had to mm. prove to her in my motherfucking, um, in my, you know, Google bag up shit. I got my shit going back 2015, 14. I showed it to her. She said, my damn kitty, you showed it. I don't even remember. You text me back and said, laugh out loud, damn show do. But then as soon as chat, chat, well, girl, Tina bring it to your attention. Oh, now the lawsuit. I've been told you that, though. I've been told, even when we sat down and talked about it, you know, she told me, she said, Kitty, you remember uh, when we were talking about them uh, LOL dogs? So that was just recently at the Black House. No, we was at the Town House. And I was like, yeah. She was like, because I kept telling her, I was like, we crazy because you know, I bought them for errors a lot. And I was like, be laughing and joking. I'm like, I didn't look like that damn Danny. Yeah, this motherfucker. Uh, I think something went on with that lawsuit. She didn't do some Shamma right there lawsuit. Nothing ever. No, what happened was, um, Shamma wanted to, like, basically, I guess she felt like she should sue for her daughter herself or something. And, cause Tiny trying to take the credit or some shit for everything or something. They, Tiny really was trying to pay for all the lawyer fees and shit like right there. And she mm -hmm. just get what she put in and then, you know, because she do own the name, which is the OMG. You know what I'm saying? It's up on the 
to the hospital with him. But she, they said, you know, I used to listen to the the lawyers and stuff. And then Shaman was like, you know, that Tamika didn't run out of her. It's me trying to, you know, I guess scam a cheering out of money, but at the end of the day, I felt like, I don't know her side of the story, but you know it's two sides. Right. And then, you know, Tiny went on to talking about how she fucking, um, she motherfucking took care of when she was in jail. And I remember that. She took care of when she was in jail. Uh, Shama. Oh, Shama. Yeah. Mm, Shama. To me, we're taking care of Shama. And her children. No, her children was sad. You know, to me, we're taking care of her daughter. Oh. And she was locked up. <laughs> like, that's how we don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Then listening to, listening to Tamika on that end, it sounded like she really just was trying to do what was best to get the money so she can have money and they can have money too. Cause so she was like, came about a fork for the lawyer scene where he was asking for, cause he asked for a lot of money. And they didn't have the money to give what Tamika do. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, I, I didn't feel no type of bad illness on that end, because I don't know the full story behind Shama. I just know from when I used to hear her talking to the lawyer and stuff about, she basically just telling the lawyer, like, she didn't even tell, I don't know, even tell the lawyer, even if she do step up and, you know, she lose on her, on, on her end, like, she still want to make sure the daughter's scrape. Uh-huh. You know, I heard, I heard her say that. So I really don't know what's going on with that whole situation right there. I'm lying to that part. Me either. <laughs> I know they ain't, I don't think they, um, cool no more. Oh no, that beef is shameful because I ain't got all type of bitches in there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ain't know that beef. I ain't know. I just know that, hey, I just thought they were. No, ma'am, ma'am. That lady went the fuck off on her ass. I don't blame her. Oh, oh, so, I don't know if she's coming or not, though, but she had just recently found out that they, um, no, she had got that lawyer and all that shit to sue the hospital for Chad when Chad died. Man, look who he got that money back. For real. Thank you, her shit. No. Oh. I'm talking about nothing, baby. Didn't even know it. Just go ahead. She, she been a boy and that daughter forever. So the daughter got a lot of little music. So we finally went over there so she could listen to the music. And that guy, and we only went over there because I'm real bad. So I'm like, man, let's go see what she want. Maybe, you know, the daughter, she reaching out for a reason. I ain't looking for a couple. Might just feel like she was close to her daddy. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, you know, that little music girl told her, you know, I'm a Monday, and hey, mama gave her up a dance off, too. So, she looked at me, I looked at the reason, I'm like, hold on. He said, yeah, she was like, you know, I got that bad last year. So, 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 I'm like, what? We getting the call to me. Did you hear her tell me? Oh, fuck, now she called her mama, she done called everybody, you know, everybody. She didn't know they, and she still been paying Chad's baby mama bills and every motherfucking thing. And that lady got back all that goddamn money. Damn. And then when she called her and asked her about it, matter of fact, the grandmama called, me mom called, uh, and, and, well, yeah, her, yeah, her mama, but, you know, Chad's daughter or whatever. Uh-huh. She called her and, um, uh, asked her about it. Me mom called, they said, she said, they didn't give her all the money. She gets some of the money when she 18. But the little money that she do got is for her to buy, like, laptop, school supplies. I'm like, man, I can't tell you what the fuck to spend your money on okay. your family buy. That shit count. But they all got a brand new car in there and bins and everything. Well, you know what she's spending on. Ain't no school supplies. Yeah. So, kind of had her told Tony, don't pay her bills no more. And then once the mama told her that, and the mama like, well, you know, son, Tamika, I mean, you know, you still can at least get help out, you know? 
Yeah, cause y'all feel bad for that boy death knowing y'all scripting that man out, like he was driving the motherfucker crazy. Y'all told that man death, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They was driving that man crazy. I talked to that man the day he died, I was on with them. I was the one told Chad, I said, Chad, what the fuck wrong with you? You need to go to the hospital. Ask King, ask Moses, ask J Ma. It was all of us in the house by ourselves. They probably and killed that man. Listen, his ankles and his foot were swollen. I went to his knees like balloons, baby. And his shoulder was shooting down. He was standing in the foyer area looking up at the fucking ceiling. And I walked through there. I was finna go sweeping there. I said, Whoa, I thought he was praying or something. Then yeah, he sat down. He called King on the phone. Yeah, we had dog. He was like, I'm on the airplane. No, uh, go at the airport, that's all I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And then he was on speakerphone. phone. That was like, yeah, they gone out of town. That mother just had to get bad, get them up the school. That rap team wrote, that's the underground truth. So that day is when he found out he was fired. And J Ma was the new manager. That boy died the next day. Along with Chad. Along with Chad. Yeah, that boy died the next day. Oh, yeah, that's the boy that was with Chad. He's supposed to be going out of town with them. And Tamika tell him, well, just find them a rental car. Because they didn't have to have rental car number, so she didn't have to have no But I'll never forget it. Chase was on the phone talking about a fucking rental car. When I brought it to Tamika's attention, he said that was home. Who Chase was talking about? I Them. She kind of went down there. She kind of went down there. She was there. Mm. Oh, what? Well, that lady ran down there. So did. I didn't know that until Moses told me. I just seen like a lot of wicked shit. Yeah, baby. Yeah. But it takes too much energy out you when you when you you hold hard, genuine hard, and you know you're a good person with it. You might get mad, angry. You know, I ain't like that. I ain't saying about a person. Might say some shit you get might not mean. Right. But ain't anybody cross nobody. Might did wrong, did harm to nobody. So she needs to leave that lady alone. Yeah, but that's what she do. Yeah, that's what she do. She don't fault to get a name back. She she fight. Dealing with y'all motherfuckers all these years with all this fake ass press and paparazzi and all this other shit that going on with all these lies. When you a close friend, you get the heat too. Cause my DM go motherfucking crazy with fake pages just cause I know y'all. Right. And then um, you know what I'm saying? They had a little show together that we, that, you know, they did, and I was on it. I don't wanna, you know, that's. Only thing I feel like they still tied up with, tied up with. Yeah, um, somebody called kind of trying to buy By the first, I want to say, I want to say it was Shakey, I ain't sure. Yeah, I thought I Shakey, Shakey want to buy it, or give her her money and then, you know, let her go. Yeah, go, right. But what he told her was he had bought a ton of footage. Then we he said. So he was trying to buy her food because, you know, that way was going on at the time. And then, um, uh, so it was like, you ain't feeling shit. Fuck, but you ain't feeling shit. And then she's like, I ain't feeling shit. 
fuck him. Take me to court and try to take it. I I, I ain't got no authorization to do shit. Because I spent money, more money than what she spent. So I, I, they got the receipts. Oh, one thing about it, I know it's a lot, because let me tell you something. Every time we was together, we was sitting over there, she kind of made a I just spent 7000 on this. I spent the X, Y, Z, $90 on this. And then I remember it was something. I didn't say Huh? I didn't use all of this. Mm-hmm. It'd be cute if you put, once you put it in the phone, say, like, call me, I'll put it. So it'll be like street now. It's gonna be. I'm gonna have to show you tomorrow. It's gonna be street like. I'll show you tomorrow. But um, I can't remember where it was, and they was on the phone. They come like, don't worry about. It. Just give me, just give me some money or something. I remember. I want to say it was seven hundred dollars that time they gave. I ain't sure, but I remember something about like seven hundred dollars. And then she was like, shit, that more than enough. But I just heard she come and say something about like a thousand. Yeah. I think Tony only came out seven thousand and all. Oh, it was seven thousand. I know it was seven oh. something. I can't remember. I didn't know it was seven something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. She's the only thing she got to hold on to she's coming with. So she's going to hold on to her dear sweetheart. And it's wrong. That is it wrong. You feel the way you feel about me, guess what? Let me go. Let me buy your shit. And you just go on about your goddamn business because it was my idea and my plan in motherfucker. Well, you just go on about your goddamn business. Let me and my special ads and my, 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 my pumps and fences and whatever else you call these motherfuckers. Let us, let us go on about our business and let us live our life and let us build what we gonna build together. And you gonna go with your fake ass friends and, and y'all gay motherfuckers, whatever the hell it is y'all got going on. Cause y'all always got something negative to say. Uh, you know, it's all about the fish, it's all about the pumps. Oh, I don't have no pumps in this bed. That was they were saying. Yeah, that was she saying. Oh my God. But your husband walked over there and said, like he been fucked. Just fuck up talking to me. Okay, because he just... He act like... I mean, he walked like he really do be... I'm telling you, I feel like he too freaky to not be gay. I don't give a fuck yeah. what he's about to say. And I don't like it. I don't like it. My nephew gay and I think it means my daughter gay. But baby, she, well, she, whatever she do, she trans. Or I don't know what the fuck it is. Bye, yeah, boy, girl. I don't know. But I accept the welcome motherfucker and she she said she's GBPQ community. I don't know. Whoever it is, whoever you call, I accept it, baby. But let me tell you something. Tip don't amaze me at all, period. I think they can watch this nigga. I'm like, come on, man. This shit ain't. He, he too freaky, bro. It ain't nothing a woman can do for him. He need a man. I'm telling you what I know. Hey, I I'm telling you what I know. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that I did everything. He real freaking. I feel like he that I did everything in the, in the, up under the sun with women, and now he want a man. He poor guy, man. I believe it. I been had a man. How he got that blow over the niggas, all the same, all the motherfuckers. Man, he just like to be up under niggas too much for me. I believe it's one man that he be up under that they probably got something going on. Probably do. BL. BL. Uh huh. Yeah, is the nigga who um that girl I wrote about in my DM. Talking about BL, I had a nigga that come to the party or some shit, and um tip tip was fucking with us. Something I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that, the girl trying to say BL had something to do with her getting raped and stuff. Uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. I don't remember. There be so much shit coming in my video, I be like, and they be, whoever it is, they be on point, baby, you hear me? Uh-uh. I be like, y'all, like, they just watch every goddamn social media page to them. They be like, look on their page. Go to this page. Go to that page. I be like, what? I'm like, I'm there. I'm like, what's 
Yeah, something like that. She, 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 she ain't decided, like, like, just say, um, when we be sitting around talking about it, stuff up there and shit, it go on. She be like, oh, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to motherfucking hear it. Like, she tuned herself out from all that shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, as far as, like, knowing, like, I don't believe she went and really got girls and stuff like that. Cause the Hell out. no. Hell, fuck no. She ain't going to get no goddamn. Hell no. No, no. Hell, fuck no. You know, when she came out and spoke. Oh, no. One thing for sure, three things I know. She don't roll like that, buddy. I've been around long enough to know. Yeah, cause she, 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 first of all, she, she don't. So she just don't get involved and she damn sure ain't going to go get no goddamn, no bitch. Not for no motherfucking tip or no goddamn time. Hell no. But she, she doesn't like the fact that other people doing the bullshit. Right. Cause she always told me, when we talked about it, she always said she would tell girls, don't do it, don't do it. It ain't right, like, you know. And I believe it. I believe it. But she did. She against that type of shit. I don't. I don't know her lifestyle. You know. I know a lot of people that grew up with her. My cousin Brandon used to stay in her grandma's basement. Her grandma ran in a daycare. You know. I know a lot of people that know her. And the people that know her from childhood growing up, they they even said they felt like that ain't. Who she is. She always been loud, always been, you know, she's kind of but she ain't never just been the type like just out there, out there. So I think if she was true enough, you got to think about it now. She kind of stood around them, you know, she was in a fight with whatever situation like that, you know. And um, I've always been around them that long, and, and she kind of was a pretty beautiful girl, naturally. Yeah. And she fine as a motherfucker before the body. Before she got her ass, she kind of was fine as a motherfucker too. You see what I'm saying? So for her to not even interact with them, because I'm sure if she would have sneezed wrong, she would kind of would have tried her, but she's so demanding on what she believes in, they couldn't get her out of it, even if they tried it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that told me herself out of her mouth. That she kind of don't roll like that. She don't get down like that. Yeah. I ain't with the hell now. She don't do their parties. Like, she do a hard thing. Like, when I went over there for, for uh, New Year's, and got down, I don't got my daughter over there. Hell, I didn't know what the first time before I was coming in, too. But damn, when they went to got that locking door, that nigga pulled out that goddamn box, and everybody put their phone in the box and leave it at the motherfucking door. They go woman. Oh, no. Stop me to go. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, they do that shit for real. Oh, yeah, they do that in real life. You got to turn the camera off. You got to record. And once we start the movie, you and Dua got the fuck on. We got to find that bitch. We got to find that bitch. That's sad to me. Yeah, but, you know, they still have a choice, though. Like, they don't, they not force nobody. You're in, you say you're in or you're out. Which one y'all live? Y'all know what y'all live? What the hell? So, so since they're willing, willing, these women were willing to do it, do you think they go on a date? Do, who, that, well. Uh, they're going to be a man. Yeah, um, I don't think, I don't think they're going to jail for it, period, for what I've been hearing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The only problem with that is, like, as far as, like, women, the women saying that they were drugged, you know, when you drugged, you can't give consent because you, uh, you're not up under the, you know, you're First of all, they were, they were telling the wrong drugs. Every drug y'all said y'all was on, bitch, those are uppers. So you ain't going to sleep, period. Yeah. Bitch, if you was on that many motherfucking pills, that one piece that she was on 24 pills, 25 pills, she gonna be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you were dead, ho. Then one girl woke up. Somehow, her ass hole was hurting. I thought, oh, yeah, tip for off. Because he love ass hole. Ugh. 
Yeah, Tamika told me that. She's like, girl, you like fucking ass. Why? Cause he gay. <laughs> he wants you gay. For real. Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Holy> stop. <laughs> Get that dead guy for that shit. Oh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, boy. 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 i Oh, yeah, they took a lot of medicine. Yeah, and I don't know where it's for, because they take it, you know, they get, they take it out of the prescription thing, and they got it in, like these little pill holders. Uh, but they take the same medicine. Both of them? Yeah. Well, then, let's you know right there what it is. Yeah, they take the same medicine now. And I want to say they take it three times a day if I'm mistaken, but I know Tip be calling Tamika, telling Tamika that she needs, um, don't forget to take her medicine. And they gonna take medicine shit low over here now. Shit, if I'm longer than that, whenever the fuck Chicago was giving them that sea mouth shit. Come on, there. Bobby G. Uh-huh. I know Patty thing Patty Tate was acting for that when she had something going on with blood pressure. Man. And then she she keeps she keep, she keep, oh, yeast infection and bacteria infections. She do? Yeah, keep them a lot. <laughs> that is not funny. That is bad. <laughs> oh, my God. That nigga's bad hook, man. You know, that toxic, um, not toxic K. Uh, yeah, it was on toxic K, I think, when she interviewed them, um, Willie and the other girl that Sabrina cut, they was talking about how, um, the, the reason why they were fighting or something, Hannah and Sabrina and CI and all that mess because Tiny had a miscarriage. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, they said that she was having a miscarriage. Yeah, they said she was having a miscarriage. I know they take medicine, though. I don't know. I don't know what it was for. How was Jet pregnant, though? For real? Yeah, she was just recently pregnant. Well, then she ain't got no age. That's how we knew she pregnant. Or she got pregnant. She, she can get pregnant. My niece said, oh, baby, she was HIV pregnant. Oh, yeah, you can, but I'm not. Right. My, niece, my niece was born with age. Oh. Her mama gave it to her. She just had a baby, but after she had her baby, made her sick. Uh, she went sick before that, but after she had that baby, she was sick, and then the baby was born deaf and blind in one eye. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but she didn't pass to the baby. That's the good part about it. But you know, you go to carry them children, as every part of it, it kills you faster, too. Yeah. Yep. That way I posted on my page, she died, she did. Mm. Like I said, I don't know, I can't say that what it is. It might be herpes. Hell, I don't know. I just know they take three or four pills, maybe five at one time. I just know there's a few on them. More than two. That's crazy. I just want to come. I know she hurt by it. I just need her to just put it together, pray about it. She's the own person. I think it's more, it's starting to get on her nerves, more act. She's starting to get, you know, it's more aggravating now than anything because it's like it's always something you know yeah when she had these sunny folks it's becoming a more aggravating thing instead of a hurt thing i don't know 
I waited on him to say her name. Who, oh, Samoa? We have been missing like that. Okay. Like, he didn't let me talk to Connor. You know what I'm saying? Knowing everything that's going on. Yeah, because, you know, he had went on the, uh, when him and Shakana had first met out, he went to Art Bar V and went live with her saying Shakana was talking about her and you and all that me. Shamar, he's he been crazy and messy and retarded anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought he was going to say something too, but he didn't. Let's kill so here we are, one million black men from. I can probably come back. Well, all right, child, I'm just trying to talk to you. Young Washington, I feel me. I got stuck in this. You call me Marlon. Okay. All right, good night. Good night.